Hi there, and this is the video for the uh, chicken tikka masala, sin free. Yep, can you believe it? That Facebook kicked us off because I mentioned the word. Well, I'm not going to say it in case I get kicked off again. You know what I'm talking about. If anybody could pass a message on to the um, Lifeline support group on the Slim and World, um, tell them, you know, I did put a request in um, to rejoin under this name, the one that I'm using at the minute while I'm banned for seven days, in case they're thinking that I've been trying to spam or something. It's just. It's crazy what's been going on. Anyway, this is a chicken tikka masala dish. I've done some prep work, so rather than rub it on, I didn't want to be bought to death, do you? So I've used two shallots, and I've grated pretty finely, and word of warning, this can sting your eyes a bit enough. So you grate two of these into a dish, and it'll mostly stick to the other side, so just, so just scrape it off. And I've used some lazy garlic. And I've just done a teaspoon and a half of that and I've added that into there. And I've also some cardamom pods, about half a teaspoon of these. Um, you have to peel them, the, little, the hard little things, when you get them out, I'll show you. You just, I just bite the end off and the inside, that's what you want, not the whole seed, the inside bit. And then what you do is you add that to it. And I have added... This is the uh, the turmeric, and I've added half of a teaspoon of turmeric, and I've added one tablespoon of tandoori masala, and I've mixed it around. And as you can see there, this is the curry paste. You can see that nice colour. Okay, now this is the first time I'm making this, so just bear with us. This ain't master chef, you know. Um, and I'm going to put the old um, ceramic core, should be getting money for saying that, on, on she goes, a bit of fry light, seem free. It looks complicated when you look at the book, but when you show it on a video, I prefer to look look at videos rather than reading a silly book, but there we go. So all I've got to do now is let that pan heat up a little bit, check you're still recording, hello. Um, and all I've got to do is add this paste now and let it cook for a minute. And then I've got to add four tablespoons of passata, which is also free. And then after that, after I've stirred that in for a bit, um, after the passata, I will then... I've got some chicken stock. And I've used one of these, and these are free, and 150 millilitres of that. And that will to pour in as well, which is going to be a curry sauce. So I'll just pan the camera around to get the old ceramic cord in. Right, and there we go. And this is the uh, the curry paste going in. Oh, really, you can um, really st it smells strong. So while that pan's heating up, I'm going to use some rice as well. Get that on the go. You have to be a man to actually get that off. I'll not put the kettle on because you'll not be able to hear us with that thing going on in the background. Um, so there we go, I can hear that start to sizzle now. So I think that's just going to let the flavours fuse together. Yeah, but what a crazy world, isn't it? You can't mention pork, fa 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 fa, you know. It's, it's what is this world coming to, eh? Trying to help people and absolutely bar me. I was fuming when I first found out. You know, the pages don't go on so well and I'm getting a buzz helping others. Um, you know, you do some good things in the world and you get penalised. Facebook needs to really sort it out. It's, it's in a bit of a mess at the minute, isn't it? It's, it's a stupid, stupid world we're living in. Well, you can see, get the side view from there, that's me gut. Hopefully that's going to start going down, I'll get weird tomorrow. Um, I found it important as well, another tip. I wouldn't, if you could, just go to get weird. I would stay behind for the class. Because it's that that really motivates you, sitting behind for an hour and having a good natter and going over what any problems you have. So there we are, that's roughly gone for about a minute. So I'm going to add four, not as you can tell, I'm like auto cue here, four little tablespoons of passata, that's the goal. So here she goes. One, two, Three, four. Oh, of course, 
I'm going to turn that heat down a bit. It's too high, it'll just de dehydrate. Oh, I'll stir that in. Oh, and already that smells like pangits down the road. <laughs> but without the sugar and all the oil and that. So I'm going to stir that in further. Lovely, lovely colour, as you can see. Really nice, you can see that there. Really nice dark red as a, as a curry sugar really go. Just turn that down a little bit. That smells lovely. So, give that a stir. Like that. And now I'm going to add the chicken stock. Like that. In she goes. Give that a bit of a stir. And we'll just let that simmer. And I've also going to add the chicken. This I've got chicken which was uh, done the other day. Um, it's already cooked, so I'm just going to add it to the pan and warm up in the sauce. Um, you know, it, it, you can also just marinate chicken for overnight. Um, but this is the way I'm doing it. Or you can just buy. You don't have to marinate your chicken. I mean, I've had this dish a few times when the wife has cooked it. Um, and I've just found it easy just to cook chicken breasts and just hoi it in, if anybody understands that English. Throw it in, should I say. And there we go, nice greasy fingers now. I prefer to pull the chicken apart, as it is in a chicken, a chicken curry dish. Get what I can there. Whatever's left. Anything that I don't like the look of in here. And the old cat lab, I think. Fudge and sweep, the old cats. Right, there we go. Get in. Get in, get in. Go over to the tap now, wash my hands. Important after you've been dealing with meat, wash your hands afterwards. To the bigger. Check the sound effects out. I'll stir that. We're still recording. Aye. So there we go, I'm going to be stirring that in. And that smells delicious. Just let that simmer away for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let it thicken up a little bit. Um, it might look a bit watery to begin with, but if you let it simmer, it does, it does thicken up. You know, and I'm um, really, really looking forward to getting my chops into this. Oh, that smells absolutely delicious already. Um, well, I like these ceramic oil pans. They, they do, they do work well. And they do a bit that you distrib distribute the heat all over the pan and the, the whole lot bubbles, not just in the middle. And you do get a good even, an even cook out of it. So I don't know if you can, uh, if you can see that. I'll tilt the pan a bit so you can see how, how it's looking. Look at the colour of that, it's delicious. Lovely curry that, that is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to let that sizzle, I'll be knocking the video off now, because that's it done. That just needs to simmer, thicken up a bit. Um, boiled rice, that's straightforward. Just add the boiling water, and just keep checking to see if it's done. Um, and I'll be going to add in fromage frais at the end. Um, just like sort of a garnish to drizzle over the top of it. Um, so I'll be waiting until the dish is done. Um, you don't, you don't obviously cook it, and as you drizzle that over the top lightly, um, it'll look delicious, and the heat of the curry will actually warm that up. As long as you don't go overboard, just a little drizzle. So I'll actually put that in the fridge for now. And what I'll do is I'll uh, take a take a picture of the finished dish, um, and I was surprised how easy that was to make. To be honest with you, really, really pleased with that. Give that another sniffles. 
<laughs> very nice so um, there we go then that's the chicken tikka masala I like I said I'll be posting a picture up and say let you know how it looks and um, thanks very much for watching toodaloo